Hi, I'm Juliana and I'm a three-time Student Ambassador alum who has been to nine countries with People to People. Today, I'm here to tell you about the amazing experiences you can have this summer when you journey to England, Ireland, and Wales for 14 days. Today, we're going to focus on the top seven People to People moments you'll have on your program. Your program starts in the gorgeous green landscapes of Ireland, and there's no better place to appreciate this country's beauty than in the Gap of Dunlo. Which brings me to my first people to people itinerary highlight. Picture it. A little ribbon of road winds you between unbelievable rocky peaks, crystal clear lakes, and the brightest green grassy slopes you've ever seen. And you get to see all of this from your own jaunty cart. A jaunty cart is a traditional Irish mode of transportation. And your jaunty cart driver is an expert on Irish legend, lore, and history. My name is Jerry Healy. Uh, I'm a local Jarvey here in the Gap of the Low and uh, we drive horses through the famous pass. A jaunting car is where it takes four people. You have two on either side, pulled by a horse, horse of course, to take you down to the, down to the Gap of the Low and the Killarney Valley. And sometimes I teach them a little tune on the whistler thing as well, just to help them along, so to make the trip mem more memorable, yeah. You may be surprised what you learn along the way. For instance, the Gap of Dunlow is formed by A, volcanoes, B, glaciers, or C, the tears of the sea king. The answer? It's B, glaciers which carved this valley thousands of years ago. That's one of the few facts you can be sure of as your jaunty car driver regales you with fables and legends. The Irish are known for their storytelling skills, and sometimes, just sometimes, the stories get enhanced to make them more entertaining. You might say these storytellers are full of Blarney, perhaps because they kissed the Blarney stone high atop Blarney Castle. If you kiss this stone, the rumor goes, you'll never be at a loss for flattering words. And this leads me to our itinerary highlight number two. You'll have the chance to test the power of the stone yourself with a kind of complicated kiss. Don't want to bend over backwards to be eloquent? You can still climb the castle keep to appreciate its beautiful runes, which date back to 1446. I'm super excited about this next itinerary highlight. This is an activity only available on your focus program, and it will make an important period of Irish history really come to life. Before I tell you what you're going to do, how about a little more educational trivia? Remember, a people-to-people -people student ambassador journey is first and foremost an opportunity to learn about the world. How did the population of Ireland change in the last half of the 1800s? Was it A, it grew nearly 20%, B, it fell nearly 20%, or C, it fell nearly 50%? Believe it or not, the answer is C. The population of Ireland was cut in half. Partly because of the potato famine of 1845, Millions of Irish in this period found themselves jobless, starving, and desperate enough to brave what was then a long and dangerous journey across the Atlantic. At the Dunbrody Famine Ship Museum, you'll discover the harsh conditions in Ireland that sent people packing. Then you'll get to step onto a replica sailing ship, nicknamed a coffin ship, because so many passengers died before they ever reached America. The voyage will come to life as reenactors describe the difficulties of hunger, disease, and storms while on board. Before you leave Ireland, you'll be treated to a very special people-to-people -people experience and highlight number four. I know I said a student ambassador program is about learning, but it's also about having fun and making friends. And you'll do both during a traditional Irish gathering called a Cayley. Musicians and dancers will be eager to perform their folk tunes and dances for you. Let's get you ready for the Cayley with a little trivia. Question, a hornpipe, reel, and slip jig are all examples of traditional Irish what? A, instruments, B, dances, or C, board games. Did you guess B? You're right. Next, you'll make your way to Wales in itinerary highlight number five, which will take you deep into the industry that defined the country's success, coal mining. Visit the Big Pit Mine, once a working mine and now museum, to feel firsthand what the life of a miner was like. It was a hard and dirty job, digging coal out of narrow spaces with hand tools and hauling it out with carts or sleds. This is not your average tourist experience. Then you're off to England, where you'll enjoy one of the most important experiences of the whole journey, and highlight number six, your homestay. I can't tell you how nervous I was before my first homestay. Will they like me? Will they laugh at my jokes? Will I understand them? And what about the food? But when I stepped back onto that motor coach a few days later, I was already missing my new family. That's the power of a homestay. It's an experience that opens up new cultures and literally changes your perspective of the world. Then you'll end the 14-day adventure in one of the most iconic and diverse cities in the world, 
London, the site of the final itinerary highlight. I love London. From the amazing international cuisine to the performances at the West End, London is a smorgasbord of culture, languages, and people unlike anything I've ever seen in the States. Let's see how much you know about this city. How many languages are spoken in London? A, 50, B, 100, C, 200, or D, 300? The answer is D, 300. Fortunately, the only language you'll need to know is English. During this People to People exclusive, you'll have the opportunity to meet a former member of parliament and learn about the government that inspired our own system of checks and balances. For nearly a decade, Patrick Nichols has shared his experience and insights on government with thousands of student ambassadors. Well, a very great welcome to People to People and especially to be able to welcome you here to the Palace of Westminster where the House of Commons and the House of Lords sit in this historic place. We're delighted to be able to greet you once again. This chance to chat and ask questions will give you a better understanding of Britain's government and the United Kingdom. Did I mention only student ambassadors get to do this? So let's recap the top itinerary moments. One, take a jaunty cart ride through the Gap of Dunlow. Two, a chance to kiss the Blarney Stone. Three, learn about our shared history at the Dunbrody Famine Ship Museum. Four, kick your heels up at a Cayley with local students. Five, dig deep at the Big Pit Mine. Six, experience daily life during your British homestay. And seven, go behind the scenes with a former member of parliament. I'm sure you can see how unique a student ambassador journey is. And we didn't even go over learning to play Gaelic football, experiencing why the Irish are known as the horse people, stepping back in time at the Muckross Farms, taking on the challenge of becoming a knight at Warwick Castle, seeing the iconic changing of the guard, soaring above London in the London Eye, and taking in a show at London's fame West End. Like I said, there's so much more to this program. I love to travel. As a student ambassador, you'll have access to amazing places, local people, and life-changing activities. So take the first step, open your mind, and get ready for the world.